What is up my XRP brothers from another mother and my cute XRP sisters. This is Rob with the XRP 007 channel coming to you from beautiful Venice Island. It was another gorgeous day down at the beach. Five out of five, but it ain't now. We got some rain that just showed up, which I don't mind. Kind of makes it feel like, <clears throat> makes it feel like Thanksgiving. So I like it. And I probably more than likely will be doing, uh, might be missing my episode. I'm not sure I am getting together with family for Thanksgiving, so I'm just going to have to play that by ear. And the title of this episode is What Stands Between Us and XRP Valhalla? The last three shoes to drop are here, knocking on our doorstep. Watch this episode to the end. I'm super excited today, needless to say, and I'm day on day number 22 of my now 118 days to go on my teetotaling and my other programs. So, and 38 days till the end of the year. Can you believe it? This year's gone by so fast. And that's just a nothing burger number. But this is the number that has, has me excited. We are nine days away from Uphold XRP Gold and a perhaps a flip the switch moment with utility price between Uphold and also institutional movement of money and cross-border payments. Cannot wait. So that's on my calendar, high up on my list. So I'm going to mention it again and bringing back, uh, this is kind of exciting. I'm going to be bringing back my Telegram group, uh, my old channel. Uh, it was a lot of fun. We had about 140 members strong. So I'm going to reorganize that uh, channel on their, my new brand name. And I'll let you guys know about that. But I didn't need a good name for it. I was just thinking kind of like the Bruno Mars 24 Karat Club. <laughs> what do you think? Comment down below. And also, just uh, um, uh, um, if you guys are interested in what I'm doing on my multiple strategies to generate a passive income and also yield on various crypto assets like Flare, XDC is my newest member to add to my mix of getting a passive yield on it. So much to learn in this place. And I remain relentlessly in my pursuit to find a safe, like a dog on the bone, to find a safe yield on our cryptocurrency. So that's why I spent a lot of time dedicated to that. And cannot wait for automatic market makers as it gets a little bit closer and closer. But if you're interested in what I'm doing uh, in those those regards, all you got to do is two things. One is uh, Follow me down below on Twitter in the description below, not the comments. So once you get over to Twitter, just say, hey, Rob, uh, I'm interested. And I will reach out to you. And also, quote of the day. This is a good one. This is juicy and 100% juicy from Egrad Crypto. It says, XRP, once you spot it, you're hooked. <laughs> that sounds like me. And he says, FOMO about to hit hard at two bucks. And this has been noted by others as well. It's like, Nobody wants your XRP at 50 cents, but at $2, oh my gosh, there just could be a stampede like you wouldn't, a stampede like you wouldn't believe. And he goes on to say, he says, my bank account, he says, it's XRP all the way. Man, you and I must be related because that sounds a lot like me. What's in your wallet? Comment down below. And thank you as always as we march up, getting close to 10,000 subs. So exciting. So we're less than 1,500 subs away. So if indeed, if you are new to this channel, if you would, hit the subscribe button to subscribe, the bell for notification, that like button, tap it, slap it, whatever you are feeling for a hump day, on a rainy hump day at this moment here on Venice Island. And in the comments... Uh, Rusty uh, was uh, left a comment. This is really neat. I love little anecdotal tidbits like this. Cardano ADA. It's not ADA. It's actually ADA. And that happens to be a woman's name. The coin was named after a, a, a mathematician named Ada Lovelace. Sounds more like a porn star to me. I digress. <laughs> so, and also in the comments, Johnny says, hey, double zero. He says, if we hit 1,000 XRP, I'm going to fly down and buy you a Lambo. Oh, what fun that sounds like to me. Should I get Ticket Me Red or that really, like, really yummy bright yellow color? That looks good. Some Ferraris look really good in that color, too, as well. Lambos. Anyway. Uh, and then Toon Van Oush. I just like saying the same thing I mentioned a couple of times on this channel. Shout out to your brother. It says, let's go XRP. Like Rob says, to the penthouse floor. And yes, I do believe it is showtime. I really think that we are at our end game on this for our XRP. We're going to dig down right down into it without further much ado. And also in the comments says, uh, I, can, I don't know who to give credit. I was trying to find this. I was pretty sure it was in yesterday's episode, but it might have been the day before. It's talking about who's going to be buying your XRP at $100. You know, when it hits $100, are you buying it $100? I got two answers for that. One is this simple law of supply and demand with bank institutions acquiring, uh, you know, 
all over the place. Um, that means they're going to be acquiring and hodling, and it's going to be less, and they're going to have to get it from the open marketplace. That means there's going to be less on the open market. That is one that will one thing, one thing alone that will drive your XRP to a price of hundred dollars right there. Supply and demand, real simple. But then the second part of it is this: is I bought ETH at two hundred dollars. It was a good trade for me back in 2021. Also, I bought Bitcoin at ten thousand. So keep in mind, although what may be used and uh, you know be familiar to you and I, there are newbies that enter this space all the time when they see it, and then they see also the potential of of in this case a lot of these assets that will be on the table, including our XRP. So at a hundred dollars, they see that potential of a ten x to a thousand, a five x to to five hundred, a twenty x to two thousand, or as we get closer and people start to understand what it does. Uh, to that elusive five-digit XRP. So yeah, they will be entering this space. Buying your XRP at $100 makes zero doubt about it. In the news, we all know this is uh, came down yesterday. Now everybody's kind of digesting it after, and it was coming out right about the time I was filming yesterday's episode about the DOJ uh, levied charges against Binance and took them down for money, money laundering, among other things. And then apparently CD, CZ, who heads up that group, uh, just got off, but apparently with just more like a slap on the wrist. Uh, very, very interesting. But Crypto Insights UK uh, made this observation and also can be made and applied to his XRP as well. It says with the Binance News, it says it really did not tank the overall general market. Uh, you know, it was a marginal response. Did it go down? Yes. But what he, that seems, tends to send us a message and to tell us is that the bulls are ready to take the reins and that we will be having a bull run coming up on a bull run. So I actually agree with that. That, 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 that seems to be like where we are headed. And also with our XRP, XRP did, uh, it is quite resilient as well. It's just been hovering around 59 cents, tackling its, it's Bumping up his head at 60 cents. We'll keep a look on that. Uh, Louis King of the uh, King of the Caribbean jungle uh, pointed out that today, on November 30th, there is a private meeting between Ripple and the SEC. That is the normal Sunshine Act that meets every Thursday of each um, on the Thursday of each month on the, that particular day in the month. I believe it is once a month they meet, and they normally do talk about such things as settlements and so forth, ongoing lawsuits. That's normally up there, but hey, it could happen this time around. But yeah, that's usually up in their schedule as well. And also, Louie, just be on the cautious side, he did talk about uh, uh, addressing cold storage and doing that. And he mentioned to this one kind of neat little one that he had up on his channel, uh, cold storage. He said, go run and buy it up on Amazon. Uh-uh. You do not, under any circumstances, ever want to buy your cold storage on Amazon because it can be hacked. You want to buy it directly from the manufacturer. Make zero bones about that. I just want to share that with everybody. November 22nd to December 22nd. You know what that uh, represents? That represents uh, Baba Cug's timeline, if you believe in the riddles as such. And uh, thank you, Brent, for sharing this. And Brent always points out he has not been wrong to this day. And in that timeline, if you've seen it, the 3, 2, 1, 1, 2, 3, all that yada jazz stuff. Uh, in this particular segment of the November 22nd, December 22nd, is the scales and you see the scales of justice up there could that also be an omen that we are due for a settlement i'll tell you what has me kind of a confluence and that is my own ta down by the beach and this is beauty in the charts because i have been focused on 2017 2018 but i took a look and turned my head over to that 2021 bull run and guess what i found out in that 2000 bull run 21 bull run. Uh, it took about six months for us to make that move, which was actually about a 10x, a good solid 10x for XRP from 18 cents all the way up to like a dollar 80. Yes, I did buy it at 18 cents. No, I did not sell at a dollar 80. So it goes. I actually had a, a sell order at two dollars. That was my inexperience. I should have known that the lower underneath those perfect numbers hit a little bit better. But anyway, so it took six months, and guess what? On my beautiful monthly. XRP charts over on TradingView. You know what month we're in right now of green candles going up? Five. So once again, if history repeats, we could see possibly that 10X of our XRP in December. Baba Cug's timeline, SEC maybe talking about Ripple settlement on the 30th. 
we shall see getting so so close and I really think this is more kind of disconfluence for me but uh, Ripple Insider and this kind of just changing quick note this was all over yesterday but I'll just repeat it again because it is music to my ear uh, is that the Ripple Insider Zach was talking about how XRP and XLM are the Pepsi and Coke of the new financial system or did he meant to say Coke and Pepsi XRP and XLM, Coke and Pepsi or Pep and <laughs> Pepsi and Coke? Comment down below which one comes in wide order. But anyway, that that is also just. And you know what? If you if you if you watch, you know, you'll hear these stories about someone in the banking industry finds out that you own XRP, and their drop jaw saying you're going to be worth so much money. Time and time again, we have heard that. And then of course we got that one. We got that one with the uh, Pepsi and Coke analogy and then also my all-time favorite is Catal and SBI 25% owner share owner and Ripple saying every bank in 2025 will be using XRP and the move that XRP is going to make is explosive in his words I'll repeat it till I'm blue in the face on that one now talking about the three things the last three things that will the, keeping us from Valhalla and our XRP one is that settlement which we just talked to uh, does it happen now or does it get pushed into 2024? But number two is the one that really is that juicy nugget. I can't wait nine days. So I can kind of hold those up because I'm kind of like having my cards. But nine days, uphold potentially using institutional trading to happen in December. Does it happen December 1? We don't know. But during the course of December, it will start happening. What will that do to the price of our XRP? That one always goes up there but I got more stuff to read on here and number three is the institutional wall of money that is going to hit this market once we have a settlement and the floodgates will open in my humble opinion we're talking about this market could really shoot up from a 1 trillion market up to a 10 trillion market in no time within 2024 not financial advice but I actually think that it could make an argument to do that and then also you can make an argument too I mean think about it in a lot of ways you can say that the SEC all this stuff that the chessboard's already been set for the big boys most of the big players in this country are out of the game and, you know, and they're just like putting cufflinks on them, like cracking, finance, all that. It goes, the list goes on and on. So I think you can make an argument that chess board is pretty well set up for them to run the table. Talking about the Black Guards, the Vanguards, and the, the, the Black Rocks, Vanguard, and Fidelity. That's the number one, number two, number three, the largest asset managers on planet Earth. And so the big three, they're all waiting, just biting at the bit. So I think the table's been laid. And then the only thing that will just really send this market going, just absolute Captain Insano, is that Kathy Art. And the other six uh, spot ETS that are waiting in the sidelines to get approved from the SEC. Could it happen on January 10th? If it does, what a absolute beautiful way to start the year. If it gets kicked down the road, then it's going to happen probably six months later. Comment down below. Uh, and then just uh, for another thing, just when you talk about these spot ETFs, where do you think the smart money's going to go? All these big institutions, you don't think that they know who's really behind this reset of the financial system? You really think that, yes, they're going to be holding and custodying Bitcoin. But do you think that for a minute they think it's Ethereum? Comment down below. I want to know what you guys think. And the last thing I'll talk about is that fourth switch. And the fourth switch, I'll talk about the three little things that'll set our XRP free. The fourth one is that official once we get regulations in the United States for that. And then we have uh, ISO 222, uh, 222 going fully live, implemented in November of 2025. And where that will send our price whether it sends it to four digits. I don't care, and you know why? <laughs> because in the meantime, we should have somewhere between, anywhere between a $30 and a $100 XRP. And from a 50 cent roughly XRP, you should be able to stack some, some <laughs> and take care of as loose as your poor self in the meantime while we wait for these other bigger numbers to, to hit. That'll do it for me, everybody. Everybody have a great day. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.